and welcome to No More Misery Must. This is my version of Vlogmas where I try and cheer you up and cheer myself up as well. Because God knows this is stereotypically a very cheery time of year, but sometimes forced cheer can make me even more furious. Anyway, something that always lifts my spirits is trying to do stuff with my own hands. <laughs> right, steady, steady. This is a family show. What I mean is making something from materials, things I already own that will be of use and not create more waste than this season already produces. And something that you guys told me about in the comments of my tier ranking my period products video was about making your own hot water bottles. And as somebody who lives in a rented flat with incredibly poor energy standards, I love hot water bottles during Christmas. I think if I can wear 20 layers like Joey and then have a hot water bottle on my lap, that would be ideal. However, as you might know, I recently learned that hot water bottles have expiry dates. <laughs> I know. I'm as offended as you are. And they're also kind of dangerous. If they're more than like a year or so old, they can split and give you like 10 degree burns. And to be honest, <laughs> spending Christmas in A&E is not on my wish list this year. No, thank you, Santa. So this year, I'm gonna attempt to make my own hot water bottle out of stuff I already own, and I'm gonna take you along for the ride. Let's go. Welcome to my floor. I am currently surrounded by random bits of fabric. I'll explain to you why for why. <laughs> now, I'm not somebody to really heavily Google the tasks that I'm about to complete, even if I've never done them before. I like to make it up as I go along, work it out for myself. Personally, I find that much more enjoyable. However, on this occasion, I'm glad that I gave it a brief Google because the microwavable bags that we're going to make, they're essentially just like rice in fabric, go in the microwave. I know, genius. We should have realized that. And you know what you shouldn't put in the microwave apart from like foil and shit? <sighs> Plastic? Plastic specifically not designed to go in a microwave. And do you know what most clothes and fabric is made of? Mm, I know. So going through some of my scrap fabric that I've got or like out of commission bits of clothing and trying to find something that isn't made of viscose or polyester was an enlightening experience, but I have found some. So scrap fabric I found that is made of cotton and that I can use. I've got this old linen placemat. You might've seen me making other things out of these things on the channel. I bought like five or six of them years and years ago from a charity shop. I've got this pair of old pajama bottoms that have lost all of their stretch and frankly have some major crotch holes <laughs> that I got from Lucy and Yak probably about five or six years ago and have been worn to death, but don't deserve to be put in the earth. Not not quite yet, not, not yet my pretty. And then I also realized that tote bags are made generally out of cotton. So this is an old one from my old workplace. <laughs> so it's Pan Mac love you still, that I actually kind of accidentally dyed a bit green and is looking really, really sorry for itself, but definitely could have another life. And then also this charity tote bag that is incredibly well made, too worn now to give to a charity shop probably, but definitely still has some legs in it. But then I also thought, I'm gonna be using this when I'm in pain, when I'm freezing, I'm generally gonna be in a bad mood and I can't be having these things making me feel worse. So I'd like to make them look pretty. I actually found this other tote bag that again, is, has seen better days uh, that my friend Jen gave me. And it's got some pictures of mermaids on it. Now the actual fabric is quite bobbled and worn now, but I think the mermaids could survive. So I could put the mermaids on the hot water bottles. And then I also have this lovely t-shirt from a Depop shop called Enough Already. They essentially embroider old fast fashion items with like literary quotes and inspirational quotes. So this one is from Mary Shelley. I am um, notoriously cannot be trusted with white items and have really stained this one with sweat and makeup. I've slept in it a lot, so I've misshapen the fabric, but I would still like this to be of use, especially in the spirit of Enough Already. I'll leave the link below, but they're like a lovely company. They're so nice. It's just a mother and her daughter and they actually sent me this, so thank you to them. But I love them and I've actually commissioned them to like embroider other bits of quotes on my clothing because I think it's so cool. But yeah, so I'm thinking of saving the embroidery from this and putting it on my hot water bottle. In my ammunition, I have this pack of Taylor's chalk, this pair of scissors, and just my wits. Let's see if this can carry me through. Okay, 
Here's what I've done so far. I cut this out just a square. Nothing fancy, pinned this on. I don't really have much to say about that. It was quite easy. Then I decided, what if I made a hot water bottle that still felt like a traditional hot water bottle? So I traced around my expired plastic hot water bottle and I decided I wanted a hot water bottle a little bit smaller. So I made sure I didn't leave a seam allowance. Yes, that was a conscious decision. I didn't just forget to leave a seam allowance. What kind of shoddy sewing novice would do that? <laughs> So I cut out two of these shapes from the tote bag and then I also cut out these mermaids. I thought it'd be really cool to put like buttons on here as well to make it look like night stars or something. But then I realized buttons are made out of plastic cleaner or metal, both of which can't go in the microwave. So maybe if I was more dedicated or I had more time, I might like embroider stars onto it or something. That would have been really cool. But right now we're going for efficiency over perfection. I also left a little flap on one of these. Yeah, one of these is longer than one of these so that when I seal it, I can just like flap it over. So there have been some moments of genius in this process, even if I've already made loads of fails. And the point of this video, by the way, not is to make it perfect. As you can see from these clips, I'm not measuring. I'm not using a ruler. I do care, but this is something that I'm going to be using. And I also wanted to showcase that things, you don't need to have loads of equipment and for things to be perfect to do it. Now, on that note, I am gonna now go and stitch these on my sewing machine, but you can stitch them by hand. It's just that, Woman on a deadline, gotta make you 24 videos this month. So I will be using my sewing machine, but if you don't have one, that's fine. This is still gonna work. Let's sew. Okay, so that didn't go swimmingly, but it didn't sink. This is the first one I did. I'm just gonna turn it inside out, right side out. <laughs> after it, I, sew, I sewed it, what's going on? This is what I'm doing, you can see. This one, oh, I had a, a little bit of a shaky time with it. I'll be honest, I, ha I learned on a miniature toy sewing machine. I'm just getting to grips with grown up big lady <laughs> sewing machine. So this had mixed reviews really went all over the shop with that, but it'll still function. It's fine. It got a little better when I got to the other side, <laughs> but it's, Full on wonky. It's full on wonky. It's fine. And then this one, I actually think I've sewed this too shut. I can't turn it the right way up. I'm gonna have to rip it a bit and then re-sew it. Oh God. It's okay. It's fine. All comes out in the wash. So this one was a real pilgrim's progress. I did, <laughs> I did have to re-thread the sewing machine a few times because it was going a little bit awry, but I got there in the end and I have to show you something I'm really proud of once I've turned this inside out. Okay, so here's the first side I did. A little bit wonky, but it has worked. To be honest, at this point, I was really starting to doubt my abilities at getting any better. But this side, I really started to get a feel for the sewing machine. And I don't know if you can see that, I managed to sew that with a sewing machine, that with a, that compared to this progress i did rip the uh, neck of the hot water bottle a little bit in the process but i reckon i can fix that once we've got the rice in so the next stage is to get the rice in right so i don't own a funnel but i do own an old magazine so i made a funnel out of that i'm putting this bowl here to keep it propped up and i'm hoping with just me and no extra hands i can fill this up let's go also i got the rice from a zero waste shop so <laughs> Good on me. Right, let's go. This did not go well. Right. <laughs> I'm mad about the mess, but pleased that we got that on camera. <laughs> Daddy, what are you doing? It's going to fall thought, out. Just fuck it. Let's just get it done. <laughs> Get Brexit done. Get it done, just get the food done. <laughs> food means food. Now I'm going to sweep like Cinderella and then sew these up and I'll be back. <laughs> and so the moment of truth, the proof in the pudding, we are gonna put these in the microwave and see if they in some way serve as a replacement for a plastic hot water bowl. Come on babies, let's go. I regret saying babies. I don't know I did that. I never even say the word baby. Okay, let's go for the small one first. I think I looked on the internet, it said about 45 seconds. So hopefully this doesn't catch on fire. But the most important thing to remember is this isn't our microwave. So let's find out. Okay. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's gonna satisfy me. Oh yeah. That was Great. about one minute 10 
on high. Oh, it's steaming. Okay, maybe that was too high. <laughs> Should we put it on for a minute? I'm so happy. This is great. What a discovery. Okay, let's put it in for a minute on high. Oh, okay, not as warm, but I think it's thicker material, so maybe this needs to go in for a bit longer. Okay, an extra 30 seconds. Ooh, I like them odds. Ooh, that's really nice. I just hope it retains its heat. I'm quite happy with that. So, can you make a hot water bottle without using plastic? The answer is yes, if you have a needle and no self-respect. Remember, Bodging the job is better than not having it at all. You don't need to be an expert. I <laughs> fucked up many different times while making this, but I'm still warm as a sausage. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. This is part of my No More Misery Mus or my version of Vlogmas. If you want to watch more videos, they're here. I'm gonna leave the link to some of the instructions I used below. If you'd like to try and make one of these for yourself, let me know and tag me on Instagram or something. That would be nice. <sighs> I'm gonna go and curl up with these now. Frog snog out.